to. Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. Give me a moment, because I forgot to... You're a fucking loser. To send this over to here. There we go. I'm putting bullets in Bozo's heads. Oh yeah, I did not put a poll on Twitter, Hatchet. I are, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's voted thus far. There's four votes. Oh, there's four votes now? Well, I was the first to vote. It's three yeses, one no. Whoever's the no, <laughs> uh, they're a turd. Wait, have I ever told you about Corefish Hatchet? And how they're a menace to all ecosystems? I don't think so. Yeah, this motherfucker. We don't know what they originally looked like, but they will move into an ecosystem, change a little bit, and basically destroy it. Because they'll overpopulate. They'll adapt what? to anything. Oh. Rip. Yeah, it's been stated that multiple Pokemon species have almost gone extinct because of this fucker. Dickheads. Yeah, fuck you, Corkfish. <laughs> I mean, they are a crustacean. Yeah. Arguably... Actually, no, not arguably. I believe the single most successful group of arthropods. Because it also includes the insects. Yeah. So yeah, basically... Oh, sorry. I thought it was funny. I, I heard a quote about... Uh, a fella who... Uh, just, um, like a biologist, or a zoologist, mm -hmm. that studied animals. And at one point he was asked the question, in all your time studying the creation, studying the creator's work, has this told you anything about our creator? And he said something to the tune of, well, I haven't been able to assess much, but I know that the creator has an inordinate fondness for beetles. Mm -hmm. Because there's a, like, if I remember correctly, approximately 25% of all named species that we have on record are beetles. Right. They're one of the most specious groupings of life on the planet. Damn. Oh yeah, Hatch, I never told you about the, um... The animal Delphers, I forgot their classification that they have. But basically, when you awaken them to make the devil fruit power stronger, if your will is weaker than the animal's will that's within the fruit, the animals will take over your mind and body. Basically, you'll look like a half-animal hybrid constantly and be basically a berserker for the rest of your life if your will is weaker than the animal. Okay. Yeah. You gotta have a pretty weak will to be overpowered by just some fucking animal. One of the f funniest things is that I saw a, there's one person who definitely had the weakest will imaginable because they <laughs> they ate the bear bear fruit model koala and the animal's ah, will took over. They got- are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> A motherfucking <laughs> koala defeated that guy. Yeah. Why did he- why would you even try? I mean, yeah. I mean, the others kind of made more sense, because there's like, the zeb- uh, the other three that were shown were a lion, uh, a zebra, and... Oh, what was the last one? I think- oh yeah, tiger. Like, those three- they have stronger wills than a fucking koala. <laughs> like, how weak 
of a will did they have? <laughs> I... Anyways, in order for me to fight her for the last time, I had to have Ogre Pawn. But she is super easy, because majority of her Pokemon is weak to Lemon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Carmine. <laughs> I, oh. I'm surprised I haven't already seen a bunch of porn of this character. Yeah. She was a major Karen bitch at the beginning. Ah. Uh, how long yeah. has this DLC been out? It was out last week. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Also, I just want to say Karen bitch is because she won't let us into the city because we are an outsider and didn't wasn't born here. And the only way to be into the city is I had to feed her in a Pokemon battle. Oh, yeah. so she's just xenophobic. Nice. Yeah. Great. And and also, in some parts of the story, she was very fucked up to his, her uh, little brother. Basically, at one point, she says, where she was basically yelling at him, and basically she said, when he ran off because he was upset, What? It's not like I hit him. I'm starting to, I'm starting to piece together why I might not have seen that much porn of this character yet. Yeah. She's a major piece of shit. She started turning over a good leaf, but it, it, she's, I don't like her. It's not like I hit my brother, I just emotionally <laughs> abused him. Yeah. Don't you know the only abuse is physical abuse? You can't hurt people with your words. Uh, also, also look, hey, Aderna. Yeah. Also, before I start this battle, one part to the story that bothers me is that like, this village believes that these three great Pokemon, even though they- I already told you that they stole the mask from Ogre Pond and killed their owner, pretty much. Yeah. And Ogre Pond got revenge and they deemed them the monster. When they were told the truth, most of the time when villagers told the truth about their legend that, that they believed in was actually wrong, they're gonna be really pissed about it or not listen. Yeah. But they immediately apologized to Ogre Pawn and believed the truth. And I'm like, you're you're not upset. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I mean, that's the better reaction. I mean, yeah, but it is so weird because that's usually not what would happen. I was prepared to fight for Ogre Pond, but I was I was saddened. I wasn't able to. <laughs> hmm. Anyways. I see you've got Ogre Pond on your team. I think its battle style changes depending on its mass. So is all set and ready to go? Yes. I'm about to whoop your ass. Right. Let's get to our positions. I believe that's the voice I gave her. I can't remember. Not right. You do know this is a game for kids, right? Yes. But I was still prepared for murder. What the fuck is with her hair? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Weapon. Yes. Okay, good. I don't have to have Ogre Pawn out. I can just beat her with lemon. I will again ask, why the fuck?
can Nintendo, one of the most successful gaming companies in the world, not spring to pay some fucking voice actors for their fucking massive games? You're gonna have you're gonna have to ask Game Freak for that one. Uh oh. Yeah, another reason why I hate fighting her. She'll randomly have fucking focus. Uh, sash on her Pokemon, which means they survive on one HP. Oh yeah, that's so fucking annoying. Just accept your death. <laughs> well, it, gives, you... it actually gives them a fighting chance against you, though. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Bright just wants to beat up on Shelby. You know what? You know, I'm gonna to give one a little break. We're gonna have Grand Inferno come out. You're not gonna use, you're not gonna allow them to fight the like, the like mythic Pokemon. Nah. Also, I'm kind of tempted to see what would, if they actually mentioned that they I didn't throw Ogre Pwn out. <laughs> I'm tempted to see if that's the thing. Well, since when do these them. since when do these games pay that much attention to detail? <laughs> right. That would be interesting. Yeah. That will happen though. Oh, Sinistar. Let's switch that out. How many new Pokemon were added with this DLC? Oh, never mind. Uh, oh, quite a bit, but not too much. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I caught the majority of them through the story. Oh, yeah, I'm just... sorry. Is that a bowl of fucking noodles? I think... Yeah. Why is the broth green? You know the it tea... It looks like... You know the teapot Pokemon? Because it's it... Okay, because it's uh... a, um... Yeah. Type it's a ghost type, that's fine. Yeah. Also, Hedge, remember the ghost. teapot Pokemon? This is yeah. its regional variant in this DLC. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, it's weak to flamethrower. I wanna flambe this thing. Flambe. Pronounce flambe. No. Listen. Right. Right. Listen, real talk. French is already fucked up enough to hear pronounced. We don't need you pronouncing French that terribly as well. Also, I, they ate a berry to reduce the effect of super effective attacks, and Grand Inferno one shot six. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't remember what more Pico is. Baker? Yeah. I think I remember what one it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I know exactly which one it is. It's that little, uh... It's that little, uh, Rage guy. Rage 2. Oh, that's right! I can't believe I forgot about it for a moment there. Uh... We're sending out the trunk. Why did you? Why did you say the trunk? I said the trunk. Sound like you said the trunk. No. Really? <laughs> Jesus. Who uh, did that? That's just bright, uh, horrible uh, pronunciation coming up again. Anyway. <laughs> the trunk. Moved out of the way to avoid being triggered by more Pekka. Oh, it's a chew, Glenn. Oh, you fucking piece of shit with the fucking focus sash. <laughs> oh, now it's angry. <laughs> oh, it's an angry chew, Glenn. They're fighting the abusive piece of shit, says Chew. <laughs> yup. 
in the trunk dodged again. Damn. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue, little guy. Wait, and it took also landed a critical hit. What too. the? What the? <laughs> why did she look at us like that? Nine tails. Uh, it's is this one the fairy type one or fire type? No. One? no. Oh, it's just the fire. So you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you don't have any water type moves. Don't oh, worry, the trunk can handle it. They just wait. disabled your attack. You they just disabled your attack. That's okay. Poison it to death. <laughs> The junk dodged. The junk is just dodging. <laughs> it's funny. You keep mentioning the chunk dodging, but he's just sitting there not doing anything. <laughs> it's just like terrible aim. <laughs> chew, chew, chew. Just sit, push her off the cliff. No one will notice or care. Uh. Well, they just perfect the attack and it barely did anything. Wow. Uh, aren't there like Pokemon like 60 something or something like that? No, they're in the 70s. Like. In the 70s, yours in the 80s. So yours still has a pretty decent like difference. Mm -hmm. Also, Wait. might have to do with your defense stats or special defense stats. Yeah. Wait. Now I'm really sad that I missed the first stream of this. You know why? Why? What? Because this is the most perfect person to use the voice on. Sheesh. You're seriously, like, a se too strong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also on the that Pokemon stream, we, I also joked about how they put more... Uh, emphasis on the eye detail than the rest of the character's body. <laughs> like, they they do, like, if you get a close-up, like, it, the eyes are so Wait, fucking yeah, detailed. Hmm. Well, probably because, like, the animators did the eyes, then got fucking tired. They're just like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're done with the eyes, they're like, Oh yeah, it's crunch time. Just fuck it. Oh, there's Ogre Pond. Uh, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. Uh. Aww. Yeah, that's... Ogre Pond's a smash. <laughs> that's the ogre that ev everyone tried to murder at one point. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Yeah. Oh yeah, Chew, I already told Hatchet about that. Where basically she said, she said, it's not like I hit him. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to say this. I wasn't being mean to him. It's not like I hit him. That was the full statement. Uh, I missed the part of it. <laughs> okay. And pen. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Uh, follow. Oh, oh yeah. Follow. Now you can see. Like, look how detailed the eyes are. Fucking D Discord, please. Okay. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they put more emphasis on the eyes than anything else. <laughs> so all I... Oh, what? She says, so all in favor of pushing her off the cl cliff and making it seem like an accident, say I. <laughs> and the first thing you said was I. <laughs> I'm reading our lines. <laughs> I actually... Uh... Jeez, this is awkward to tell you, but I... 
issue. Um, what's going on now? Hey there, Aaron Bat. This is Brad. Seems our student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. Caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to any community center? I just responded to what you said, Chu. What do you mean we're ignoring you? <laughs> Message received. Loud and clear. Though, so seriously, was she about to fucking ask you out or something? What the hell was that? Oh. I would feed her the, le uh, the lemon. Okay. Plus, I don't even know how old she is. So I wouldn't even say yes or no to that state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, come on, is that you? Wonderful. It's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. <laughs> Chu out of nowhere says, also, she's racist, so that's why Chu says I. <laughs> Wait, oh yeah, the fucking xenophobic people. <laughs> yeah. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. She is right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... Oh, well. Let's go see what... I didn't hit A. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. Yep. Okay, good. I can fucking get my, my Pokemon back. Oh yeah, Hatchet. You know what's actually funny when I when I went to go catch this this fucker right here. What? Um, I was talking with Jiri. Um, about the cliff where we do not speak of Ludicolo, and I immediately opened um one of those raid den things, and it was Ludicolo. <laughs> <laughs> like, do not speak of Ludicolo. <laughs> One of the things I'm just really glad right now is I did look it up. There are no regional variants. Thank fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to her after I catch the legendaries, because she has a special mission. Okay. And I think you get a Pokemon out of it. Also, has Hatchet noticed I'm not wearing a school uniform? Well, yeah, I've noticed that I just didn't feel the need to bring it up. Yeah. Can finally change clothes. Ah, Aaron Beck. Everyone's. Everybody's here. Well, most of us here anyway. Now then, care to get some words for us. 
Let's give him our full attention. Do you want to do Old Man Hackett for his first one, or...? Um, um, I guess. You don't have to. I was just asking. Mm. Oh, and oh. we, we yeah. lost Apollo. The mentioning oh. of Old Man Hackett. <laughs> was Apollo staying stuff in Chad or something? Oh, Apollo was muted. Was different. Oh. So. Um. Yeah. I I think I will pass him. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Thank you for coming. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be clipped. Just me saying ne that. You know what? Never mind. I'm reading. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yes! Thanks for coming! Now we're both being clipped with that shit. Oh, I'm gonna come all over the boy! Oh my god! You're in front of a bunch <laughs> of children! Oh no! I've been told that our student parents have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kaka. <laughs> Which. I, I don't look. Do I look like someone who's gonna take being corrected carefully? <laughs> Maybe. Kitakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Several children scream, hear that, we did it, we found them all. Like how it's just raining right now. <laughs> no one's no one's carrying an umbrella. Everyone's just getting fucking soaked to the bone. Also, Miss Briar's clothes, when they get wet, they just shine. And mm. look like they get tighter. Hmm. We're gonna move on. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid thinking about things. <laughs> Several children continue to yell. That was so much fun. Why, thank you for saying so. And thanks for taking part. And everybody, remember, so this all happened in the course of a day. Yeah. And remember, kiddos, don't go asking about the hamsters. Oh my god. Also, um... Uh... The signs that we had to check were saying the false part of the legend, where the ogre was the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna change it, or are they gonna keep it? I mean, I don't imagine they're gonna change it. They might change, so they might change it, but like update it with like, this is what we once believed, but we. Yeah. Well, okay, if they're intellectually honest, they will do that. If they aren't, they will just get rid of them and then change them. Yeah. Or leave them. Mm-hmm. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. Okay. It's not a hamster. <laughs> I received a mochi set. Okay. Wait, is this specific? Hmm. Okay. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Wait, I just realized the caretaker doesn't even have a name. My, what are you talking about? My name is caretaker. <laughs> 
Oh, My yeah. parents gave me this name, hoping I'd take this job. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have some sad news to bring forth. What? You know the the game SCP Secret Files? That really good one that had a bunch of the bunch of SCP stories in it. As well yes. as the, the song I Am a Toaster came from. Yes. Mm -hmm. The com uh, the company that made the game uh split up and the DLC is never gonna happen. Damn. Okay. And it looks really well done because it looks like you're gonna want to be dealing with a cult and a bunch of zombies with SCP-049. It was really interesting. Ah. Our visitors from Paldea. Still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Also, I love Chu's message. It says, Under capitalism, you don't have a name. Your job is what matters most, not your identity. My identity is caretaker. <laughs> I take fun. care. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for sudden spring this on you, but come on, Kieran and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Oh, but why? Not that I care. <laughs> And truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Are you you were supposed to be- wait, where were you? <laughs> also, what the <laughs> fuck is up with her room. eyes? Don't worry about it. <laughs> she possessed. She possessed by the devil. Yes. No, she's just she's just a dragon Pokemon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, this person oh. is a uh, headmaster to, uh, if I remember correctly, headmaster of Blueberry Academy from uh, Kalos, or was it, I believe. Hmm. I have no idea. I remember she mentioned like which con country she was from, but oh well. It was, it, 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 yeah, which region? They're not countries; they're regions. So, in other words, Same difference. In other words, no, they're pretty different things. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, go ahead, Hatch. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's whatever. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it! <laughs> you can leave these kids to me! This will not turn out like the hamsters! <laughs> now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say. Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all? Wow, just be, be, be. That, why? It's just Did they out. That I don't know. But honestly, just outright admitting you're racist. I don't think they would be considered racist. It's oh. just xenophobia. Uh, xenophobic. Mm. There we go. Thank you. And I guess xenophobia is probably like some. 
kind of subsect of voices in my life. <laughs> Look at oh. everyone but me. <laughs> We've got two shocked faces and one depression. I'm just like staring at them like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> More like her. Like what? World's greatest flop. Ah. Uh. Seeing how the Caribbean is, I kind of get that. Act and that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, hatchet. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. Oh. I mean, that's actually kind of... Okay. Yeah. But then yeah. we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. Wait, she, wait she spent time with the others? Wait, what? Only Did with she? one other kid. Only with one other kid. Yes. She spent time with two of the, what, five kids, four kids yeah. that showed up. And that's enough for her to say, okay. Oh, okay, you could have talked to the other kid, but while you weren't there. Mm -hmm. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. Moral lessons. That's the moral of the story, kid. I'll be right back. I forgot to put the ice cream in the fridge. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Oh my god. Alright, I'm back. How long has the ice cream been out of the freezer? I think it was like for like 10 minutes. Okay, that's not that's not that big of a concern. Is that true or are you like underestimating? As far as I was aware, it's only been out for 10 minutes. Wait, wait, when, did, when did you get ice the ice cream before this? I was let had it set out. I I was not paying attention to time. <laughs> I mean, but, like, did you do it before you started streaming this, or at, or like sometime into it? I think a bit into it, but from what I do know, was I looked in it, most of it was still frozen, so it wasn't out for very long. So probably like thirty minutes. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a time wizard. 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> hey, as long as the ice cream is still good, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, what? As long as the ice cream is still good, it's fine? Yes. Do you mean as long as it's still frozen? Maybe. Oh well, no. Because oh. there's also other problems that you have to think about. Like it going bad like how uh milk can, can go bad too so yeah, anyways so that it. is more a problem with a longer time period yeah all right catch it uh, so i guess what i'm trying to say is i had fun Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially yo, Aaron Pride. Right? 
I'm glad you came to visit. Especially you, the person I've been, like, talking to the most out of everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. For what it looks like, that's probably what the next uh, DLC is. Because she does return. I see. Oh, and I almost forgot, I still need to get packed and everything. Wait. No, I'm not saying wait to you guys, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. okay. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. Okay. I I still have that inkling in the back of my head that she has a crush on you. So I somehow rizzed up a girl I was being this piece of shit to. I guess. <laughs> also, about her age. Um, yeah. Yeah. How old is she? Probably the the youngest she is going to be is fourteen years old. I take back my statement. <laughs> Wait, which character? Carmine. Car well, uh, yeah, the youngest she is going to be is 14. Uh, the oldest is, I, she could be is 19. So it's unconfirmed. Yeah. yeah. And besides that, why do you feel the need to take back the statement right when both of these characters are underage? Don't worry yeah. about it. Also, like it's it's not like something untoward seems to be happening here if that's the case. Fair. Yeah. Also, like also like there's like innocent crushes that happen, so it's fine. Uh, like as long as like Yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never quite, you never quite, what? Oh, you never know quite what to expect from her. Sorry, the, uh, the, the, the Alzheimer's was setting in. <laughs> Each month spent with you kids is just dazzling. But an adult like me, <laughs> it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our care tanker a big, a great big thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I say. Everyone else thank, yells out thank you. And I just slightly say, fuck you. <laughs> Snare your eyes, look him dead in the eye. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> something I would do, honestly. The thing is, the thing is, he wasn't even a caretaker. He just was like, oh, yeah, you guys can go off and do whatever. Yeah. Well, he was taking care, just not of you. Oh, this is the kid. I need to be calm. Uh, um. I need to become a lot stronger. Stronger. Stronger, stronger, and stronger, and stronger. Yeah, look at his eyes. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just hope he doesn't, like... Because, like, honestly, that kind of mindset is kind of, like... Yeah. Is harmful. Oh, yeah. I actually watched a video about this DLC. There's a theory that there's going to be another legendary coming in on the second uh, part of the DLC. Because when it was shown that the, the scene about the 
piece of shit, the three piece of shits that stole the mask. Mm -hmm. At the top corner, there was also a fourth that looked like a peach. Yeah. And there's also symbolism of, of a, a peach-like Pokemon at the shops. So it's theorized there is another legendary. That's a, it's probably based off of the Peach Boy. Peach Boy. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah. Are we are we continuing? Sorry. The looking ahead, I maybe remind it to me of this somehow. I don't know why. Just you wait and breath. To be continued. <laughs> Fancy. I, uh... I think I need to go. Are you gonna head off, Hatchet? Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm not feeling well, so... That's fine. Take a breather. Yeah. Take, take care of y'all. See you later, Hatchet. Yeah. Be good. Now... I'm curious... What will happen... I go back to the places I fought those three pieces of shit. I know you can catch those, uh, three bastards. Oh! Save. Oh wait, hold on, I better heal my Pokemon first. I'm being. There are a bunch of birds coming out of my ride. Well, what do you expect, dirt? They wanted to ride with family. Oh my gosh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll save. That way I don't have to heal again in case something happens. I don't have to worry about shiny for a sky because, well, they're shiny locked. As far as I remember. Yep, it's the it's the monkey, Mr. Mackey, because every the test dialogue is also mm okay. <laughs> Poison lemon, that's just great. Piece of shit. Oh. Interesting. Man, she expelled a poison itself. 
Lemon knows how to cure poison. <laughs> And lemon's healed. Cause fuck you. <laughs> now this should put him really low. Send out the one Pokemon that won't be affected as much. The Chonk. Because the, the Chonk's cool. Come on. Damn ball, sack of shit. Come on. <laughs> okay, never mind. The child was not the right decision. <laughs> Grind Inferno, maybe. I'm throwing an Ultra Ball, you dumb bitch. God damn it. Goddamn ball. On. Goddamn ball! Come on! Shit! Stay in the goddamn ball. Come on. Great, the fucking future sight, bitch. Stay in the goddamn ball. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Use Psychic on the Psychic type. That almost killed Eris. Surprisingly. Right. Oh. Never mind. Uh. Wait, that's the right account. I can't remember. <laughs> Why do you have multiple accounts? Don't worry about it. Mm, sounds like something you gotta look. I do have to worry about. So. <sighs> this monkey piece of shit. <laughs> What's going well? Only if this fucker would stay in the goddamn ball. Yep, that didn't work. Oh, for fuck's sake, goddamn future sight. I'm gonna see if we can tank it. Please tank a Thunderfang. Yes! That was not very good. Good. Already. Fucking... Oh! Lemon survived the future site! Somehow. Every other Pokemon died by it. Full restore Lemon. Then I'm gonna start catching this motherfucker. Is this like a psychic poison type? Probably. I mean, they're all poison. Like, all, all three of them are poison. I just don't know their other types that I can remember. It would be so funny if you, like, went down to the wire and you. And Like, just use the Premier Ball Codex. Oh, yeah. Salamander from YouTube. That's the poison second. Right, Dust Ball, it's night. Okay, I'll... I'll try. Alright. Do I have one? So I have... Okay. I have three. That did not turn out. I feel well. like Dumbus works more in like yeah, these work more and better in like cave and stuff. But they also work with night. Oh, oh, yeah! Got it. Fuck that motherfucking bitch. Munkidori. 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 Monkey Dory keeps itself somewhere safe while it toys with its foes, using psychokinesis to induce intense dizziness. Okay, okay, so the one of the bear cat thing is, is fighting poison and the bird is fairy poison. Yeah. I I said I was gonna do it. What are you doing? Ooh. 
This is how you spell their name. Mr. Mackey. <laughs> <laughs>